Uh, all right. Uh, so, um, as uh, Michael has mentioned, I'm uh, uh, co chair of the real time working group. And actually, the, um, uh, the goal of my talk would be also today to explain uh, what, what uh, the goals of this group is and why, why we have this group and uh, uh, what we are doing there and, and what, uh, what kind of um, tooling and, and what kind of um, you know, software we, we do provide. So, um, real time working group. Um, there are several groups under the um, um, umbrella of the technical steering committee. If you go on this technical steering committee um, website, you would see a list of groups which, which, are do, which are collect or, or combine the people of, 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 for the interests. And uh, there are like a control group, middleware group, or different groups. And uh, there is also a real-time group, and uh, the, you can see here the, the screenshot of that. Uh, so uh, basically, we have a regular meetings. It's it's a uh, uh, um, one one meeting per month per per, per two weeks, and uh, there are several companies involved. So I have put a list, but uh, the list is, is more like there are uh, more um, participants in, in this working group. So, um, what are the goals of? So, what we are uh, we actually um, uh, try to collect all useful um, ROS2 real time resources and to be a, uh, some kind of um, you know the, the contact point for all uh, people who who are uh, interested in uh, ROS in the real time ROS2 project, and uh, we. Um, uh, we also provide a reference system for us too, and uh, it's not only, um, I mean, restricted, restricted to the application, but it's more, I will explain it a little bit later. Uh, we also um, try to collect and, and to create the benchmarks and various tests for the uh, system to, to improve a ROS2 real-time behavior. So the, the main goal is really to improve uh, real-time uh, ROS2 real-time. So if you look at the system uh, and uh, this workshop is related to the uh, uh, executor part. So executor is one piece of, uh, you know, of, of the ROS, uh, of the real time system. And if you look at the stack, so, and it's definitely application, but application runs on top of ROS2. And as, as you can uh, hear, there are multiple executors and, and uh, um, you know, and, and uh, uh, various, techniques, how you can develop it. Then underneath you have DDS um, is, is another um, middleware. And, and then you have operating system and uh, you have a hardware. And uh, this is only one node. You can have definitely multiple nodes with, with such a configuration. And all this uh, needs to be taken into account while you developing um, a real-time system. Basically, and uh, uh, we try to address it uh, by uh, various projects. So, if you go to our main page, you would see um, various projects underneath. So, uh, I, I think um, uh, Ivan has mentioned so reference system, then um, um, Crystal has mentioned road tracing, but we also have uh, um, other projects. Documentation, which where we try to cover uh, these various parts. So we uh, we have also provided the documentation not only um, uh, for Linux. However, Linux is, is our uh, definitely major operating system. But uh, there are there is also documentation exists for Unix for for Vxworks uh, because they are also real time operating systems. You can do real time with that. And uh, we rely on, on particular uh, hardware. So we take for the reference particular hardware. Um, so basically, I, I don't plan to go deep in, in defining what is real time. So there are books about this. There are uh, manuals and, and uh, a lot of um, real time so materials, what is real time. So basically, uh, you you need so real time system wise guarantee response with specific uh, uh, time constraints. Uh, 
and uh, I, I put an uh, example of this. Um, um, people sometimes like mix fast and real time. So, so real time is, is not fast, it's, it's uh, deterministic. So the, this is a difference a little bit. So if, if you if you thinking of, uh, for instance, hard long uh, machine, so it should be, it should uh, in, in particular periods on time provide, you know, provide some action and uh, um, basically should not meet, it should not meet uh, deadlines where it, 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 uh, it provides such an action. And uh, there are like multiple components of this, as I can mention, starting with hardware and uh, real-time operating system is one of these. I mean, I, I have put here a quick example using um, uh, ROS tracing, what, uh, what Christoph has mentioned. So basically I have configured one, um, so uh, two systems, one with real-time configuration and another with without real time configuration and I put some some stress and um, it, as you can see on the left side it is there uh, latencies for the whole uh, this reference system uh, nodes um, using real time setup on the on the right side it's, it's non real time setup and, and you can see that on the right side without the real time setup um, the um, uh, latencies is, is uh, much higher than uh, the uh, uh, than the result here. So if you if you are moving from let's say if you look at the operating system taxonomy, you would see that you 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 would if you would design the system, you would probably start uh, with a general OS and and then uh, you would move to if you would like to to. To design a, a um, system which more, more and more um, uh, real time, you would move to soft real time and the part real time, where you you would probably then go to um, too much tighter behavior of your system with with a uh, more deterministic um, response time. Um, so uh, I think when when you People normally, I mean, I think when you start developing such a system, you really need to think of, uh, do you really need real time? Because in um, not most of the cases, but in several cases, you, you probably, when you are uh, using ROS2, you don't really need real time. So you really need, I mean, real time when you go to some kind of, you know, uh, mission critical systems when you need uh, um, really uh, dedicated, um, you know, uh, response time on, in your system and so on. And uh, this is, uh, I think th this one of the um, points you need to think about when you, you know, you want to implement ROS, real time, ROS system, do you really need real time or not? For the uh, for your application, um, just to go briefly through the um, uh, through what we have, right? So we um, oh, we do have uh, as a reference, we do have a Raspberry Pi, uh, just because you know it's it's uh, um, very wide used by community and by hobbyists, and and it really provides. Uh, some kind of reference design where you exactly know how much memory you have, how much CPU you have, uh, and so on. So we also do do support it, uh, Intel, of course, as, as a generic PC, but we didn't define any any kind of you know uh, uh, system for that as a reference system. Um, uh, we do provide our, um uh, operating system as a reference system as a part of our activities. So what what we do, we have selected a Ubuntu. It is like an obvious choice uh, because uh, Ubuntu is a tier one operating system for um, ROS community. Uh, however, we have applied on top of uh, the uh, Ubuntu uh, kernel for Raspberry Pi. We have applied uh, preemptive patches and. Uh, we, we build them so you can go and grab uh, this uh, uh, ready to use real-time kernel 
or with the predefined configuration. If you don't, uh, if you need any other configuration, you can um, we prefer instructions how to uh, uh, how to uh, reconfigure kernel and compile it to, and compile it again. Um, so and uh, uh, for the for the, for the DTS, we do not do any specific settings at the moment. So this is where and the DTS uh, each DTS vendors provide their uh, specific settings for that. So we are not far with that. So at some point in time, we, we will look and where we probably need help from uh, DDS vendors, how to tune uh, their implementation for the, um, for the real time. Uh, so executors, I think I have mentioned all which we, we would discuss. So, um, so it will be discussion around how to, to improve that. Uh, but to, uh, to measure all these um, behaviors, I mean, we, uh, we do support uh, ROS tracing and LTT and G, and this is built in inside our system. So you can, uh, if you would use it, you can, uh, I mean, you, you can uh, profile all of this and, uh, and get uh, measurements out of it. Um, for the application part and for the system in general, we do provide their, um, a description, and I, I have put a link. Here, um, actually, how you can configure system. This is really uh, depends on what kind of uh, uh, real time application you have, but you have a possibility to put a constant CPU frequency, to put isolation, uh, CPU isolations to, to isolate applications uh, which you need for real time on, on particular CPUs. For instance, you can assign uh, real time priorities to your uh, processes and to your threads. And we also plan to provide some kind of some real time coding guidelines, which we don't have at the moment, but we, uh, we plan to work on this. Uh, we also have tests. Uh, and uh, I have mentioned already um, a reference system you can use for tests, but we also have a performance test and pendulum control test. Uh, then, uh, um, and, and all of this. Uh, I mean, uh, gives you a pieces which we you can use and and uh, uh, to be able to uh, uh, to start building uh, real time inside your road system. Uh, what is uh, what is on our roadmap? So on our roadmap is uh, to have our uh, build farm um, we can which would generate ready to use images for our reference system then we also plan to have a hardware test farm where we would like to put some hardware targets and can uh, run um yeah run regular tests uh, probably need to um, have put some new tooling and uh, uh, yeah we will put definitely provide uh, we would as a group i mean uh, we we do not really uh uh, very much involved in, in the development of executors, but we, we, we do provide the support to, to test and to integrate all things. Uh, um, yes, so here's a call actually. I, yeah, I mean, um, uh, this is my last slide, and uh, here's a link on, on the real time um, ROS2 working group. Uh, join us, use what, what we have created, uh, provide the feedback. If you want to contribute, we have a regular meetings. Uh, so join us and, and uh, yeah, listen to what we are doing and uh, you're, mm, you're welcome to, uh, to participate. And at the end, I have put all, uh, all the links to that, uh, to, what, what, uh, to the various projects we do. Uh, these slides will be also available, so you can just go and, and, and look for the link and uh, yeah, just participate into that. And uh, yes, so this is in my last slide. Um, I, um, I, I give now the right to, to Michael back. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions? Thanks, Andre. 
So there are two questions. Um, first one, how, how are real-time deadlines specified in this paradigm and how are they enforced? Uh, well, we, um, we are now, uh, I mean, we have this reference system, right? And, and in, the, in the reference system, we have, uh, we have our uh, computation, um, some kind of, we know how much time it takes in each node, the, the computation. And uh, um, yes, so, and, and uh, based on that, we, we just, at the moment, we just measure, more or less, we just measure uh, the, the performance. Uh, we, I'm not sure whether we, uh, we can, by any means, uh, to, uh, to enforce deadlines in this design. Probably only through the, I think uh, uh, William has mentioned that uh, there are some, some primitives, right, which, which is possible to get notification when the uh, deadline is missed, but we do not use it at the moment. All right. Uh, so maybe you, you can have some you know, scheduler configuration of the operating system to ensure- Yeah, exactly. Threats have, this we, we need to look- Some yeah. amount of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, next question. How are real-time deadlines specified? Uh, we had this, sorry. Um, what kind of real-time performance in terms of latency can we expect by running Rust 2 with real-time config rather than a real-time patch? No, I think it's it's a good question. Um, I I think it's very I mean very uh, uh, much depends on your you know your application on and on your configuration. Um, what what we have now, I think, uh, with with this reference system, we really like started to measure all this stuff. Uh, how much, uh, yeah, how how performant your system would be, you know, and how much uh, latency we would get. I mean, we we just we just started these measurements. Mm 